Winfield Middle School and welcome to the Crow's Nest. I'm Izzy. And I'm Ella Brooke and today is Monday, August 20th, 2018. At this time, let us pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our message for today is about being responsible for your own actions. Being responsible means being accountable, admitting your mistakes or wrong actions, and accepting the consequences for them. It also means doing without being told what you know you should do. Responsibility. It's fairly simple. We're all given a set of tasks to do as part of our job, so it's only our responsibility to get them done. Nobody else's. Of course, we want them done brilliantly. Average, mediocre, and not standards that will impress our supporters or each other. So what goes with responsibility is an expectation that things are done to a certain standard, a brilliant standard. It's not just a matter of responsibility, it's the result that I achieve with that responsibility that really counts. So let me explain. I might have the responsibility of keys but this won't be helpful if I lose them all. Equally, and a little closer to home, I can be a lifeguard, but I would be a little irresponsible if I did nothing when I saw that someone was drowning. So responsibility is not about the tasks that are given to me, it's about the standard to which I deliver them. Of course, we impress others even more when we do a little bit extra, go the extra mile or peel the banana. Those things happen when we have a complete understanding of our role and we don't just see our job as a series of tasks, but we see it as an essential function, a cog or a wheel in the organisation that has a deeper purpose to achieve results or fulfil our mission. We appreciate the bigger picture and we use our initiative and we turn a good experience into a great one. That's responsibility. For lunch today, our menu will be hot wings or sausage pizza, potato wedges, baked beans, tossed salad, and mandarin oranges, or you can choose a PB&J, grab and go, or a grilled chicken salad. Global Scholar Testing will begin Wednesday with two tests this week and two next week. Be sure to arrive rested and ready to do your very best. Here is the schedule. <music> Today we celebrate National Honeybee Day, a holiday started by beekeepers to bring awareness to the bee industry and the importance of healthy honeybee populations. As one of the greatest pollinators, when the bee suffers, all of the agriculture and those who depend on it suffer as well. Most bees are not a threat at all in the least. If you're out in the wild and you're approaching a hive, that's probably your biggest concern, something you want to be aware of. But in our home gardens, walking by shrubs that are covered with bees, their focus is to collect food for their hive, and that's what they're focusing on. As long as they don't face a personal threat by you, they're really just going to leave you alone if you leave them alone. And so what we can do as individuals is really try to ensure that they have uh, sources for food and sources, uh, places to actually nest also providing flowering sources throughout the year with a focus on native plant species is really going to be helpful to ensuring their survival. So you want to look at a water source where they can't drown, so if you have a shallow source of water or maybe some pebbles so they have a way to climb out or a stick 
um, that's a great thing to draw them to the, to the space. So another thing we can do is make sure that we're reducing or entirely eliminating chemical use on our properties because it can have very significant negative impacts to their survival. Bees are a critical link to our ecosystem and they are responsible for pollinating over 80% of the world's flowering plants and 75% of the crops that we have here in the United States. Um, to me, it's, it's, they're really an incredible uh, group of insects that is um, well adapted to the environment and something that we should be protecting and looking out for. That's the view from the crow's nest. Have a great week.